to you and welcome to Studio One, wherever you may be, and all the compliments of the season. Let's wish everybody a happy Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. and Noel Hill and that was a track with the Aidan Vaughan dancers lending weight to the whole thing and that was a track from their very successful album called Ashlingy Coil, The Music of Dreams. <laughs> we decided to have a bit of a musical hooli here in Studio One on account of the time that's in it instead of what you might call our normal late late show. And we have the cream of musicians from all over this country in Studio One tonight. And we are going to have music all the way with merely identifications here and there from yours truly. And wherever you may be, we hope you're having a good time. And if you feel like joining in the revelry, then by all means do so. Because the musicians we have tonight on The Late Late Show are the best there are in this country. And straight away, let me introduce to you another young woman of outstanding talent. You all know her well so far. She's enjoying huge success at the moment. She excels in trad, in classical, in rock music, and she is no mean writer of songs to boot. So accompanied by Declan Masterson, let's have a welcome please for Eleanor McAvoy. Well, he comes to me and sets my thoughts astray. He comes to chase the midnight blues away He's sweet to taste and strong to touch And with his second sight He steals away the lonesomeness of night Well, it seems that heavens looked on me and smiled Sent the sun in place of candlelight Tumbled out my wildest dreams tossed away my worst but as heaven sent a blessing or a curse well he talks to me but nothing does he tell 
He talks but keeps his secrets safe and well Still I cannot help but reach for him With these helpless hands of mine So I hug him close and pray to God he's kind Well he comes to me and sets my thoughts astray He comes to chase the midnight blues away He's sweet to taste and he's strong to touch And I find myself inclined To hug him close and pray to God he's kind I hug him close and I pray to God that he's throughout the length and breadth of the land. Let's have a welcome for Martin O'Connor.
is nice, but I ask myself, is it orthodox trad? That's what I want to know. And I'm afraid the answer is no, it's not, but it's very nice nonetheless. He has a dozens and dozens of compositions. This next one is called Liquid Sunshine. And he's now joined by Seamus Begley and Dermot Byrne and a young woman of enchanting charm who made such a huge impression on everybody all over the country just about this time last year when we paid a special tribute to her on The Late Late Show. Let's welcome back Sharon Shannon. Ray McBride, who I remember as a wee fella for many, many moons, dancing every year at the Galway Oyster Festival, along with his sister. I sometimes think it was the wrong boards he took to, but he's gone on to greater things anyway. But he dances in his own inimitable style. <laughs> right. Now I want to introduce to you another young lady of great talent, and this is not the first time she's been on The Late Late Show. She first appeared on The Late Late Show on The Toy Show. And I remember that I was talking down to here, and she was looking up at me and answering my questions like that. She's come on a stream since then. On account of it being Christmas, and on account of it being a special occasion, and particularly on account of it having been her 12th birthday yesterday. Oh. Yes, her 12th birthday yesterday. She has, she has cancelled all her other appointments to come along and join in the show tonight, and she is accompanied by her daddy. So let's have a welcome, please, for Cora and Donal Lunny.
applause. Give many dances. Give many dances. Well done. Great. Good girl yourself. <laughs> well done. Great. Right. Yes, Mike. Now, Mike, 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 Sharon Shannon is joined by Donald Lunny and Seamus Begley and Nullig Casey and Eleanor McAvoy and Paddy Dlacken and Manus Lunny. I have the faintest idea of what they're going to play, but it's going to be good anyway. Let's have a welcome for them, Sharon Shannon again. Well done. <laughs> Lynch and Christine Hamburg doing something very unusual there. That's what he's called, John the Leper Lynch. That's right. That's right. Now, now our next. That's what I was told he's called. He's known. Is it any surprise, for heaven's sake? And her as well. Now, um, our next guests, it seems to me, are, are, are spoken of as the best kept secret around the town. Um, they, they've been influenced, they say, by the European Cafe Society music whatever European cafe society music is. I suppose it's music made in European cafes. Anyway, um, they formed a year ago, and it's a lovely mixture, I think, of ethnic folk and swing and a touch of gypsy. See what you think of it yourselves. Let's welcome, please, the Cafe Orchestra. <laughs> Thank you. 
I love that. Very good. And we hope you're enjoying it too. We hope you're enjoying it. Now, when our next guest, uh, she was on the show with us last week, and she gave a stunning performance, if you saw her right at the end of the show, she sang one of the theme songs from the new film, In the Name of the Father, which is due for release next week. And we were talking to her afterwards, and we told her what we were going to do here for Christmas Eve, and she said, oh, I'd love to be part of that. So we said, well, if you play your cards right, and if you behave yourself, and if you ask nicely, we may be able to squeeze you in. So we did, and here she is, Sinead O'Connor. Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from glen to glen and down the mountainside. The summer's gone. Tis you, tis you must go, and I must bide. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow, or when. Dear Sireland, 
very enthusiastic audience and I'm not surprised because they're all into this kind of music I can tell you. We're joined now by two of Ireland's most renowned musical families, the Cassidy from County Donegal and the Lennon family from County Leitrim and dare I say it from Hoth as well and both families specialize in vocal and instrumental selections from the, the rich heritage that is our Irish music. They're going to perform a little number called Peggy in Littermore. Would you welcome please the Cassidy and the Lennon family. <laughs> we had some line up tonight. Are you enjoying it so far? Yay! But anyway, I want to welcome now a, a young, fresh and vigorous group from County Sligo. Uh, each, each of whom I'm assured is as proficient as a musician as you could possibly desire. They're going to do the Virginia set and dancers Louise and Bernadine Creshen are going to try to keep up with them. Let's have a welcome please for Dervish from County Sligo. Dervish.
<laughs> well, done. well done, thank you. Oh dear. That was Louise. Louise and Bernadine Cresham there dancing with Dervish. Colwell Fargolo Moroku, is that yourself? Let me introduce to you this young man, ladies and gentlemen. He's from a very musical family. He's 17 years of age and he's from Moigauna in County Mayo. And he plays accordion and he sings. He's already been on tour with Colthus and he's been to various parts of the world with them. And he has gone to the trouble of taking modern technology and, and raking up very old tapes of older people and how they used to sing and how they used to sing the old songs. So he's very dedicated. He's not playing accordion for us tonight. He's going to sing for us a little thing which is well known to you all called Rocks of Vaughan. Would you welcome please Fergal Omoroku. <laughs> Come all you loyal heroes, wherever you may be. Don't tire with any master, till you know what the work shall be. For you must rise up early, from the clear daylight till the dawn. Or I'm afraid you'll never be able to plow the rocks upon. And rise up, gallant Sweeney, and gave your horse some hay, and gave him a good feed of oats before you go away. Don't feed him on soft turnips, put him out on your green lawn. Or I'm afraid he'll never be able to plow the rocks upon. My curse attend you, Sweeney, you have me nearly robbed. You're sitting by the fireside with a doojin in your cob. You're sitting by the fireside from the clear daylight till the dawn. And I'm afraid you'll never be able to plow the rocks upon. I wish the Queen of England would send for me in time and put me in some regiment all in my youth and prime. I would fight for Ireland's glory from the clear daylight till the dawn. And I never would return again to plow the rocks upon. Thank you. Thank you. Fergal O'Morakou from my Gauna. This one is called Rich Pickens. And it features a man from County Mayo. And he's joined by Jerry O'Connor, James Benner, Hassett, Breda Smith, Leslie Dowdall, and Breda Mayock. I told you we had all the best people in the studio. Let's have a welcome, please, for Vinnie Kildoff. <laughs> Leading the band. On father's coat of check And when a drunken man beside her Said where do you come from For I have a place where you can stay And with me you can't go wrong I've got a feeling in my head Her heart was full of fear When our journeys and he fell and said There ain't no rich piggies here no, there Town. The rain fell heavily 
job a week ago The company went broke And she'd never seen her brother John She hoped it was a joke I've got a feeling in my head The reason wasn't clear When the young man from Jamaica said There ain't no rich figures here Malloy has arrived in the studio, and Brendan O'Regan. And, and Brendan O'Regan is here, and Cora Smith, and Jimmy Faulkner, and would you believe our very own Dr. Frank McNamara on piano joining in on this. It must be a very difficult one, no doubt about it. This one, this one is called Tulla Moon Dance, and what exactly they're going to do with it, I do not know, but the band this time is led by Sean Smith. Let's have a welcome for them. We're joined again here by Gino Bennett on drums and uh, two young, lovely dancers who've come to join us from uh, Birmingham, especially for Christmas Eve. And you last met them again on our Mayo 5000 special presentation and they went down a treat. So let's have a special welcome now for Gene Butler and Colin Dunn to dance this one. Gene Butler and Colin Dunn. Right song.
beautiful. Lovely performance. That was Gene Butler and Colin Dunn, specially over with us on Christmas Eve uh, from Birmingham. Now, uh, Jerry O'Connor, originally from Tipperary, but known the length and breadth of Ireland, stays with us. And this time he's accompanied by Donald Lunny and Vinnie Kilduff. And this little number is called Moving Clouds. Please, Brendan Gunn and the boys.
are from Kilkenny. We haven't met you for a while on the Late Late Show. Have your stories for me or anything to report or what? You well, have. I've come equipped with everything. Uh, yeah. I've come equipped with the bowl on that I had starting off with the very first yes. Cayley Band. I was telling you about that before. Indeed, yes. We were called the Kilmanagh Castle Warden and District Excelsior Cayley Band, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we were amazed. There was 25 or 30 of us in that Cayley Band. Yes. There was five of each instrument. I was one of the five bowl on players. Yeah. <laughs> we had a fierce catastrophe in one night. They're not that popular now, you know, these bowl on, so I have to be careful here tonight with all the crowd. But we had fierce consternation one night when the, the band, five of us usually turn up on any one night, you see. And the five of us turned up this particular night anyway. We were all the bow on players. So after such a catastrophe, you had wallop and rumble like that for the whole night. So we decided, the band decided to break up the morning after. <laughs> so <clears throat> where else could they go? The band broke up, but I stayed together and went out on my own. <laughs> And I launched myself then solo, you know. So, I mean, it's great to be able to hang the instrument here and just bring this in my hand and take it handy. Coming near Christmas time, yeah. the, the season where I was thinking of uh, this particular fellow who was in a consternation sort of a spot, helping out at home, cutting the goose. Yeah. Down our country, they used to use a goose instead of the turkey for a long time. And uh, he had the goose ready and he was there sawing away good. Oh, the goose is that bit of rubbery, but he was cutting like hell. And the next thing, he had about 15 or 20 young lads. They all shouted, Daddy, give me a leg. Daddy, no, I want a leg. Daddy, they were shouting from all over. And the name of God says, he will you stop? Sure, it's not a spider I have. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas ones, you know. But <clears throat> while we were on that, we were on that theme, the, the other big thing was the parcels used to arrive from America down our country. And in all parts of Ireland, they used to come from different parts of America. And uh, Christmas cards would follow usually too. And there'd be oftentimes like uh, newfangled ideas coming from America. One of the big ones was the, the Christmas pudding. In fact, the first Christmas pudding was ever down our country. Both the ingredients and the recipe came from America. Yeah. And this particular family, they were there and there was fierce confusion. They found a few coats and shirts and that in it as well for the older couple <laughs> in the house. And they'd caught a fine dash Sunday morning or Christmas morning going down to the chapel and the fashion about five years ahead of the rest of the fashion with them. But they were going through this and they were checking out all the stuff, the dried fruit, they were doing the currants, the raisins, the seasonings, the whole lot. And in the middle of this parcel, they found a little jar. It was like, no, for all the world, it was like the little moral jar, maybe. And there was no label or no sign on that. And they tested it here and they gave a bit of it to the dog and the sprinkled a bit on top of the water, they still couldn't make out what it was. And I blasted to the father of the house, we'll bring in a couple of the neighbours, maybe the man next door would put it in his pipe and see how it goes home. <laughs> he got no better of it anyway, got no good of it. So eventually they decided it must be another idea for the pudding. There would have to be so many additives to the pudding every year, they said, surely to God we can't go too far wrong. Land her into the pudding, he said, mix away girl there, he said to the missus. And he said, surely it don't, don't do any harm if the fellow ever doesn't do any good, like the winkers under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> They mixed the whole lot up and everybody, when it came to Christmas Day, after the dinner, everybody agreed to the most fantastic pudding. Nobody had a, uh, a complaint or a flaw to say about the pudding. But about three or four days after Christmas, some of this late mail arrived. And in the midst of it was a lovely Christmas card from the cousin in Chicago, sending over the greetings for the season, like wishing them well for Christmas, hoping that the plum pudding would turn out okay. And a little PS note at the end of it, as the Americans can do, stating that it was the last wish of their uncle Peter, who died that August, to have his remains cremated. <laughs> and the actress sent over and spread in the farm at home. Oh, where were they going? Uncle Peter's plum pudding. <laughs> Give us another one. Give us another one. Yes. Are, are, are you all equipped and accoutred like? Are you, are you all now. electrified and plugged in and everything now? Full now Very good. <laughs> Okay. 
Breeder Mayock from Castle Bar, good evening to you. Have you something for us, please? And what is it? Once I loved. Once I loved. Once I loved. Very good. In your own time, please. Once I loved with fond affection One whose heart was dear to me Until there came a dreary parting Never more would he stay with me Go and leave me if you wish to Never let me cross your mind If you think I've proved unworthy Go and leave me, I don't mind Many is a night, boy, while you lay sleeping Dreaming of some sweet repose While I lay down with both eyes open Listening to the wind that blows Here's the ring that once you gave me When our hearts they were entwined Give it to some bright-eyed lady I never felt it was really mine Go and leave me if you wish to Never let me cross your mind If you think I've proved unworthy Go and leave me, I don't mind. Now, another great bunch of ambassadors for the old Irish music industry. They've been playing at the Harcourt Hotel for the last 16 months with little breaks to go away on tour. And they've just come back from a successful European tour in which they played 26 gigs in 26 days, which I would have thought was rather much. But however, that's hard going, 26 gigs in 26 days. Back in time to mark 15 years on the road with a special celebratory party on New Year's Eve in the Harcourt Hotel. We're delighted to welcome them back home, and we'd ask you to give them a welcome to Studio One, Stockton's Wing! <laughs>
done so much to uh, spread the word of Irish music right across the world. And next guests up tonight also originate from various parts of the north. And I'm just reading here, it's an extraordinary record to have. Their albums, Red Crow and Harvest Storm, have been acclaimed throughout the world and have twice earned them the very important Nerd Award in the United States. They spent 15 weeks in the top 10 in the US Billboard magazine's world music charts. They also spent seven months in the UK folk roots charts and six months in the hot press folk and roots charts. And they simply go from success to success, both at home and abroad. And we're very, very happy to welcome them to our studio tonight with guests, uh, Donal and Manaslani and Mel Mercier. Let's welcome Alton. <laughs> Here they go. Meanwhile, we welcome Dolores Keane, Francis Black, and Sharon Shannon and their band. Let's welcome them to Studio One. Sun beats down, showing vivid ground. 
shines us through. It's the land that feeds our children. It's the land you cannot own. The land, the land owns. It's the land that fills our wisdom. It's the land that shines us through. It's the land that feeds our children. It's the land. Anybody in the studio who can lay hands on anything, such as a piano, a banjo, a box, a, 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 a bow on, going well, going well, anybody at all, get in. Here we go. Our finale is Drops of Brandy, I believe, and the Fox Hunter. Happy Christmas to you all. Who's counting it in? Go. One, two, three, four. Two, three, three. <laughs>